no, I don't have a problem because yes, I can stop buying yarn anytime I want to. <laughs> Today I'm going to review this Mainstays 100% acrylic yarn that you can only get from Walmart. <music> Welcome to Yarn Checker. I'm Serfonia. Um, let's take a look at this yarn. First of all, it comes in two sizes, as you can see here. Actually, it comes in three sizes. Um, this solid color jumbo size yarn is 798 yards, a whole 14 ounces, and it's only currently $4.88 a skein at my Walmart. And then there's this seven ounce size, which is 397 yards, and it is currently only $2.49. It is a size four. You can um, machine wash, machine dry. So this sleeve is speaking my language as far as yarns go. And like I said, I was it's inexpensive yarn, so I was completely drawn in by the price. And I did buy quite a bit of it. This is the third size. This is the variegated yarn. It's also $2.49 a skein. And it is five ounces because the variegated is usually less ounces than the solid. And I love the color. I love the colorway on this one. I want to give um, this yarn a try in my knitting machine. But first, I want to show you... I want to compare it with the Big Twist yarn so you can see the different uh, thicknesses. Now to the left is Big Twist in white right there. And then on the right hand side, I have the Mainstays white. And I'm not sure how well you can see on camera, but the white is thinner. But let me show you in the red because you can see it better this way. See that one to the left is the big twist. It's in that like deeper red. And to the right, see how much thinner the main stage yarn is than the big twist? There's nothing wrong with that. They're, but uh, just to let you know, they're both size four. So that's interesting how size four can be so many different thicknesses. And then if you take a look and compare the mainstays uh, red and the mainstays right, uh, white, which are both to the right, the, it's, uh, the white one is thicker than the red one. So who knows? Here's the center pull. I found one for every yarn that I bought. It was right there. The yarn's peeking through, just waiting for you to pull it out. And, oh, okay, we have a knot. Let's hope that this is not a sign of things to come. Hopefully not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a sample on my 48 needle uh, Centro, Centro, Centro. And we're going to take a look and see how well this yarn works up on the knitting machine. Because I would like to make this my go-to yarn because of the price, I it would be great if this could be my go-to yarn for my uh, machine knitting. This was my first time using this yarn. I made this video a little while ago and I chose the middle tensioner to do my first sample. And as you can see, what I came away with was one drop stitch and then um, a few drop stitches. Now, the overwhelming majority of this piece, as you can see, looks really good. The tension was fine. And for the most part, it looks okay. But then once I flip it over, as you can see, there's actually several places where there was um, tuck stitches, as you can see there. That's all, yeah, all of that where it looks chewed. To me, it looks like it's chewed up, like a dog got to it. But I felt like maybe I had used the wrong tension. And so I made a second sample and I'm, I'm not showing the tensioner here, but this time I did put it in the tightest 
uh, I did choose the tightest tension. I chose the smallest hole for the tension and I got completely different results this time around. And so I just wanted to show you that the tension that you use for your yarn can make all the difference in the world. Here are two, uh, a scarf and a hat that I made. I have patterns or I have tutorials for both on the channel. I'll link to those, but look at the difference here. So this does work on the knitting machine beautifully if you use the right tension. With the Mainstays variegated yarn, I made this short infinity scarf. And again, I had zero problems with the tension. I didn't have one, not one drop stitch, not one tuck stitch. And this is actually one of my favorite scarves. Uh, I will leave the link for this infinity scarf in the description box in case you're interested in making it. But yeah, once again, the mainstays 100% acrylic yarn came through. Lastly, I made up a swatch. Um, I crocheted a little sample. And just in case you're a crocheter, I wanted to show you. Um, this is not the softest yarn, but it's also not scratchy and it's not rough. Like when this yarn passes across my fingers as I'm crocheting, it feels fine. It doesn't make me feel a certain kind of way like, Ugh, you know, this is this is rough. I don't want to work with this. So to me, that's ideal, especially considering the price for it to, you know, be so, just, you know, soft enough to be comfortable to work with. I would say that is a good thing. Also, this turquoise yarn, again, it's mainstays, but this is actually thicker than the white mainstays, which was thicker than the red. So you're not always getting the exact same thickness, even within the same, the same yarn. So I'm not sure why that is. I want to give my, um, just my final thoughts for the price. I love this yarn. It's great yarn. It's soft enough. It works in my knitting machine, which was like the number one reason why I wanted to get this. Um, and you, when you crochet with it, it crochets up nicely. Now the colors that you see here, that's almost all of the colors that I found <clears throat> between two different Walmarts. And I went online and looked and it does, it just looks like they don't have that many colors. There was one more variegated one that was like blues and grays. I didn't get that. So the one con I would say is that there are limited colors and also some skeins are thicker than others. But other than that, I think it's great yarn. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.